Hello and welcome to OTR Love Team Time Trial Series. This is race 10, League 2, and we have three teams for you in the highlight show today. OTR Wicked, OTR Black, and Australia Sharks. So let's see how they get on with their pace lines. So OTR Black favouring the right hand side, OTR Wicked tend to favour the middle to left hand lane, but they seem to be all over the shop at the moment, uh, they're going the same way as, as OTR Black. And Australia Sharks tend to be straight in the middle, which makes it easier if you were recording, and um, I'm, I'm not for this particular one, hopefully I will be next week. A little bit of a gap between Tony and Peter uh, for OTR Black. And the same for Shane and Sean on OTR Wicked. So looking at that, OTR Black, 57.57 seven kilometers for the first minute. And Australia Sharks was 0.62. So they covered more ground. And I think that's quite telling. They're looking at kilometers an hour at the moment. Both teams are pretty quick. But OTR Black currently slightly ahead. Uh, going to that last corner with OTR Wicked, you've got three, so Andy, uh, Shane and Sean. OTR Black, the usual, you've got Tony, Keith, Peter, uh, Nesta and Kevin. And four shots, we have Luke, Bo, Toby, Tristan, Mark. And you'll notice Marco has dropped back, what, well, just under 2k now. And what you're going to find is Marco is giving the team the timings that they need for the individual splits. So that's the 5, 10, 15 and 20 kilometer splits, as you can see on the screen right now. And that's because Team Australia Sharks are looking at what the competition's doing and then racing towards that. So they've got a plan of how to tackle each and every race to ensure that they get to the top of that league before their competitive teams do. So let's see how that goes when we work out the end of the, the final from the highlight show, but looking at the 10k splits at the moment, they are pretty much neck and neck. So Black is just there by about a second. So in front of Peter, Keith, Nesta, Tony and Kevin. For Wicked, we've got Andy Mack, Shane and Sean. Now because they're a team of three, they need to finish as a three. And with Australia Sharks, Mark, you've got them Bo, sorry, Mark, Toby, then Bo, Tristan, and Luke. So looking at those split times for 10k, OTR Wicked at 18.12, OTR Black is 14.42, and Australia Sharks at 14.30, so they're 12 seconds ahead of OTR Black at the moment. And they've got that within the first 10k. So what will be interesting to see is whether or not they keep that time as we move forward between the 15 and 20 kilometer time splits and then to the end of the race. So Andy Mack out in front with Shane and Sean. Vice versa, Sean, Shane. Peter then, Keith. Kevin, Tony and Nesta, but it looks as though from my screen, uh, Nesta has dropped, so he's now what, 890 metres back, so that's now a team of four, 
and you have Mark from Australia Sharks also dropped. So they're now down to a team of four. So Luke Bo uh, is in there with Toby and Tristan. And again, great to see Tristan riding. So they're neck and necks, really, aren't they? So both Black and Australia Sharks are doing between 53 and 54 kilometers an hour. Uh, and that, that shows, so OTR Wicked, 29.06. OTR Black 22.47 and Australia Sharks 22.38. So closing up slightly on Sharks. Are we going to see that changing in the 20 kilometre split? So Wicked, you still have Sean, Andy and Shane. Black is there for Keith, Kevin, Tony, Peter. And no one has dropped for Sharks, so you still have Tristan, Luke, Bo, and Toby. And again, as you can see, Marco's providing a bit more commentary in the chat about the split times that they need for the 20km split. And if you're looking at the kilometers per hour and where they are at the moment, I would say Australia Sharks are slightly ahead of OTR Black. And that's reflected in the split times as well. So OTR Wicked is 36.51, OTR Black is 29.16, and Australia Sharks is 29.04. Four, so they're back down to that 12 second gap. So you've got Shane and Andy Mack. Sean is just about 8 metres, but he's closing that gap up at the moment. And there you have it. Gap closed. Team working us to the finish. They've got under 900 or 920 meters to go for OTR Black we've now lost Tony so that's now a team of three with Kevin in front Peter and Keith and for Sharks we've got Luke Tristan and Bo we've now lost Toby and again Marco's calling out the times needed to finish that race and they're really looking to be OTR black here let's be honest so let's let's watch we've just gone around the corner let's watch them uh, as they finish they've got 670 meters to go Who's going to get it? Looking at Australia Sharks, they're slightly faster kilometers per hour. Yeah, they're definitely a lot quicker. But yes, with OTR Wicked, 45.34, OTR Black is 36.13, and Australia Sharks is 35.49. So actually, as they cross that line, they were slightly a lot further ahead in that last split time. And as you can see, Australia Sharks tops the highlight show with 35.49 and you got 
OTR Black in third place and OTR Wicked with only three riders, which they did an incredible job on 45.34. So where does that put them on the league tables? Let's find out. So looking at League 2, Australia Sharks have two points difference between them and OTR Black. You've then got Australia Dingoes, West London BR, OTR Wicked, and I don't think we've had a race from North American X-Force in this last quarter. So they're down in with two points. Very similar to Pokemotion in League 3. But interesting, all to play for in Week 11 to work out whether or not Australia Sharks will increase their uh, gap or not. But thanks for watching and we will see you next week for Week 11.